started from humble beginnings years ago, Jet Charge first began with the installation of home EV chargers. We've installed more chargers than anyone else in Australia. During this time, we've gained a lot of experience and expertise along the way. Here we'll cover what's involved with charging your EV at home. There are two main ways you're likely going to charge your EV. First is via a portable charging cable. This can go by a few different names, such as the Mode 2 charging cable, backup charger, contingency cable, or emergency charging cable. Whichever name you go by, these are essentially all referring to the same appliance. All modern day EVs typically come equipped with a portable charging cable, which can simply plug in to any 240 volt power outlet that you would find in any home across Australia and New Zealand. Portable charging cables are generally considered a secondary charging method and offer the greatest flexibility. However, they can also take a long time to recharge your EV. This method of charging can be useful if you don't have to travel very far. You need a small top up or to help get you to your next charging destination. It's recommended that your portable charging cable is always kept stowed in your EV, just in case the need arises. Unlike traditional cars, EVs have the ability to plug into any regular power outlet for an emergency top up, which actually makes it quite difficult to run out of charge wherever you are, as you're never too far away from a power outlet. The most common way to charge your EV is by having a wall mounted charger installed in your home. These are installed on a dedicated circuit from your switchboard, which results in charge times that are at least three to four times faster than that of your portable backup or contingency charger, meaning you're able to quickly top up from the day's driving or fully charge overnight. Home chargers are usually the best charging solution for most EV users, as this enables you to do more charging in a shorter amount of time, which can also allow you to take advantage of off-peak power rates through your energy provider. This combined with already lower running costs compared to that of a traditional vehicle, only helps to further reduce your running costs. Almost any home with off-street parking can have a home charger installed, regardless of whether you have single or three-phase power. This can also be in addition to those that have or are thinking about having renewables installed. For those that reside in apartment or strata developments, there are a number of options available. Whether it's a dedicated charger in your private car space or a shared charging facility for the premises with an individual billing. We can work with your owners or body corporate to install the most suitable solution for you. Now that we have introduced you to the common ways you can charge your EV at home, we wanted to briefly touch on how the rate of charging relates to EV range. Let's go back to the portable or contingency charging cable that's likely included with your car. These will typically provide eight to 10 kilometers of range per hour of charge, or in the case of an overnight charging session, 80 to 100 kilometers. This slower rate of charging is the result of the charger's own set of limitation further to the power limitations in the home power outlets, which is typically up to a maximum of 10 amps or 240 watts. Other factors to consider with lower rates of charging, is that this may not recover energy losses from your day of driving, which can have a knock-on effect to your range on the following day, even after an extended charging session. Another consideration often overlooked is EV performance. Whether you're driving the latest EV models on your favorite corner or tackling long steady climbs in eco mode, performance is also tied to the current state of charge measured in volts. The higher the battery pack voltage, the better the response when it's time to set off on your journey. Now let's compare the previous charge rate with that of a dedicated charger installed in the home, which can provide up to 32 amps on either single or three phase power connections. This can result in charging at speeds of 40 to over 100 kilometers of range per hour, leaving plenty of time for full charge in an overnight scenario, ensuring you're ready to go with maximum range the following day. Depending on your region, local laws or power supply requirements, some installations may require charging speeds to be physically limited due to local grid limitations. For example, a 20 amp limitation would not be considered full speed but still a very practical rate of charge. Installing a dedicated EV charger in this scenario would still be the best recommendation. 
Hands down, the absolute fastest way to charge your EV would be to install a DC rapid charger at your home. But is that even possible? Technically, yes, but should you? Here are some considerations. The cost of an entry-level DC charger is often magnitudes more expensive compared to an AC home charger. Then there's the size. AC charging relies on the electric vehicle's onboard equipment to convert the supplied power before storing it into the EV's battery. With DC charging, all the charging equipment is managed externally to the vehicle, resulting in DC chargers starting at at least eight times the size of their AC charger counterparts, right through to the size of an industrial refrigeration unit. The biggest limitation here, above all else, is often to do with the power availability. At the lower end of the scale, homes would have to have ready access to three-phase industrial power. This is a good time to remember that vehicles often spend most of their time parked idle. The benefit here with EVs is that when this is happening, you're likely charging. There is also a technology that is fast evolving that lets you both charge and discharge your EV, effectively turning your EV into a mobile power source. This technology is commonly referred to as vehicle to grid, or V2G for short. Vehicles that support V2G will allow owners to charge their EVs like normal, and then when you need, your EV battery can then also supply your home with energy as required. This technology will soon become commonplace once both chargers and V2G capable vehicles enter the market over the next few years. If you would like any further information about what we've covered here, please get in touch or visit us at jetcharge.com.au. We look forward to creating an electric future together.